I'm Tomasz Szafanaka, a meteorologist born in Gdańsk here on Poland's Baltic coast. For a native, I know far too little about Polish cuisine, so I'm going back to my roots to taste the best my country has to offer and to reveal the secrets of my homeland's landscapes. Now that, that's not a mirage, that's the Baltic Sea, which means that this is not a vast sweeping desert. This is a protected nature reserve called the Słowiński National Park here on Poland's Baltic coast. This UNESCO biosphere reserve is around 180 square kilometers and was named after the Slavic people who used to live in the swampy fringes of Lake Weba. It's hard for me to believe that this scenery is only a couple of hours away from Gdańsk where I was born. Beneath the sand are fossilized forests and the remains of the original settlement here, Weber. In the 16th century, a vicious storm swept off the Baltic Sea, which completely leveled this area. The wind storms built up these huge, slow-moving sand dunes, and that's what makes it seem like we're in the Sahara. Some of these dunes are pretty large, reaching over 40 metres high, and they are still expanding at a steady pace of up to 10 metres per year encroaching on towns. So new forests have been planted to help guide the dunes up the beach and away from the locals. I'm almost sad to leave the coastline behind, but a culinary speciality at the Kormoran restaurant in Rove awaits me. Rovi is a small port on the westerly edge of the dunes. Here, they've been specialising in the herring industry since the 14th century. I'm here with Darek, who will introduce me to various ways of preparing herring. The first dish is a small local herring prepared simply with oil, served whole. I was a bit reluctant to try it, but it was surprisingly tasty. The next dish is a classic roll mops with pickled onions, which I love. Darek told me the fresher, the better when it comes to herring. The last dish I'm helping Darek with is herring salad, traditionally served at Christmas. I'll leave the chopping to the pro and stick to what I do best, eating. Beautiful presentation, can't wait to dig in. I remember when I was a kid, I never really used to like herring, but now, because I've grown to really like them, so I'm going to try what I've prepared earlier, see if it's any good. Mmm, really not bad. Having had my fill of fish, it's now time for more surprises up the coast. Well, the beaches here offer more than just sightseeing and fishing. They form part of a phenomenon known as the Amber Coast. This is Sopod Beach, a short distance north of Gdansk. This place is known for being a hotspot for amber hunting. It's hardly surprising when you learn that Baltic amber accounts for 80% of the amber on the planet. I've spent enough time dragging myself through the sand, so I'm heading to a local spa for a different amber experience. Something about the stones, when you put the pressure onto your muscles, it really relaxes you like a proper hard massage. I think I'm going to go back to sleep. 